Hey guys, I'm Brandon with Motionform. Today we'll be looking at some important resources for models and methods in Revit. When I first started using Revit, there were a little resources out there, pre-built models, etc., including custom app for Revit workflow. But now many resources exist, including Autodesk resources, Revit City, and custom manufacturing models that can help you in your project. In this video, I share some resources that can help you build up your model with pre-built things like apps and models. Stay tuned to the end where I share some productivity tips to get the best workflow for your project. You can see in this window, there are some featured apps in the Autodesk App Store. And as you see, there's a browser. You have to sign in to download these. But there's all sorts of types of industries that use these plugins. And there's all sorts that you can just click on and find out more information about. And make sure you see the version of Revit that is usable for this and make sure of course to save a file if you're going to try to use something new so you can find information there's lots of videos or examples and comments so the app store is really really valuable um, if you get some time to explore what Revit can do I would start by learning out what's in Revit before you just start with the plugins because there's so much already in Revit as opposed to something like SketchUp where you're getting a lot of plugins. So many stuff is built into Revit. So first off, get some basics on learning Revit and then you'll have some time to explore things like plugins. Some plugins I would recommend are Auto Section Box. When you're more advanced, and I have a course on this, this helps you make sections in your Revit model and also Enscape. Enscape is a renderer and they have a plugin for a renderer that works in SketchUp, Revit and other programs. So these are some plugins that I would recommend and I recommend definitely learning Revit before you start adding the plugins because the plugins will add another constraint to your model um, so be mindful of that. If you're looking for Revit models to help believability of your model also to maybe add some information to your model, um, you can use the site Revit City, but you also can look for Revit BIM models on manufacturer websites. So first we'll look at Revit City. If you want to find almost anything, you could just search and find it on Revit City. For instance, if you wanted to find an oval table, you could find a Revit model, which is called a family, and you just wait till it loads. Um, and as you can see from the website, it has forums, it has news articles, downloads and galleries. You also can upload your own families. And so you see, when you click on something like a table, there's all sorts of items and categories that you can build it down to the version of Revit. And so this is a great way to find things that you could put in your model. I would always test something out because you don't know if it's new and it works. The great thing about it, if you click on one of these and people like it, people will add a review to it. If something is new, you might want to spend a little time to check it out before you put it in your model. One thing you can also find in the world of Revit models is manufacturer products. You can find both people who make Revit models for manufacturers, and you can find them on manufacturer websites. Uh, RCAT is one of the sites that makes different Revit models, and you can download um, families of things like stoves or any sort of appliances. There are a lot of resources in Revit today that make anything possible, and here are some ways to get the best from these third-party resources. Number one. Make sure you test any models or apps outside of your project first. This could save time if something is not functional for your model or needs some update to work effectively. Number two, you want to make sure that with apps, to spend the time to understand them. Look in some manuals or forms so you can use the right settings and save valuable time. Next, with manufacturer models, feel free to contact the manufacturer if you need help for the right model or if you need a custom model. They can often help you and point you to the right place. Thanks for joining me. This has been Brandon with Motionform. Comment if you have any questions and check my links if you need help with Revit. I'd love to help you master your Revit skills. 
If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to the Motion Form channel for more helpful tutorials and unique content for architects and designers.